What's going on guys, Drew here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick process of reloading. First step, make sure you have the correct shell holder and place it into your press. Next, you're gonna to wanna to run your press all the way to the top, grab the appropriate die for whatever cartridge you are using. The deprimer and sizing die is the one that has the pin typically sticking out of the bottom by about a quarter inch. Thread the die into the press until it touches the shell holder. All right, once your die touches the shell holder, move your ram downwards and give your die an eighth of a turn to tighten it. Run your ram back up. You should feel a little bit of resistance and a small pop as your handle drops into its downmost position. Tighten down your lock ring. Next up, lube up your cases. You can do this the old way with a pad or you can do the coffee can method. Next, take your case, run it up into the die. It'll size your case and deprime it at the same time. Add my steel media, and I'm gonna add water. I'm gonna add just a squirt of dish soap. Dab will do ya. Then I'm gonna add roughly two teaspoons of lemon juice. Once your brass has been cleaned and properly dried, it should come out looking like this. Run it through your case prep sequence, whatever that may be. Next up is to prime your cases. Now you can use a hand primer or on the rock chucker like I have here, it has a priming tool built in. You just select the appropriate size cup for the primer, small or large. We'll insert our primer just like that. Bring it down, insert your case. Now go all the way down, you'll feel some pressure. Bring it back up and your case should be primed. Make sure it is smooth to the case. So once your cases are primed, and you have a loading block readily available, your bullets and your powder readily available, we're gonna go ahead and throw charges into each of these cases, being sure to not double charge. So I like to use the powder drop, pretty simple. You lift up, chamber fills with powder, drop the handle, comes out the funnel into your cases. If you're using it for plinking ammo, where you don't have to be completely accurate, it's great. So now I wanna fill up my container with rifle powder, and I usually fill it up about halfway to make sure I'm getting accurate loads. For the purpose of this video though, I'll do it just so you can see it. Now I'm gonna use a grain scale and try to figure out what load I wanna do, whether it be subsonic or what have you. So once you have the correct grain weight that you're looking for, for whatever load you're loading, next you can go ahead and charge your cases. The next step is to seat the bullet. So you're gonna grab your bullet crimp and seating die. Typically on a bottleneck rifle, it's only one. What we're gonna do is grab yourself a charged case, put it in your shell holder, run it all the way to the top, run your die in until you feel pressure on the die. That'll be the die contacting the neck of the case. Do not force it past that. Now what you're gonna wanna do is back your die off one full turn like so. Set your lock ring. You don't have to tighten it on just yet uh, to the die itself with the Allen wrench. Now you want to back off your seating pin a couple of turns, lower your ram. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be seating a bullet. This is a 220 JHP boat tail to be specific. Place your bullet in the top of your case just like so and then slowly you're going to feel some pressure as you run it into the die. Bring it back down and you'll notice your bullet is starting to be seated in the case. Get your calipers back out and find your overall case length that you do not want to exceed. So what you're gonna wanna to do to get to that appropriate depth, adjust your seating pin a couple of turns, run the bullet back up, take your calipers, measure it, and keep going until you get to the appropriate bullet seating depth that you're looking for. So right there I have a 2252, which is close enough because this is still underneath the maximum overall cartridge length. 
All right, guys, the next step is we're gonna set our crimp. So go ahead and loosen your lock ring on your die. We're gonna back the seating pin off a few turns, actually, hopefully that's enough. Put your case in that is appropriately sized for its overall length. We're gonna run that all the way to the top. Run your die in until you feel pressure on the die. That'll be the die contacting the neck of the case. Move your ram downwards. Give it about a 16th of a turn. Lock your ring in. Then next, you're gonna to wanna to turn your seating pin until you feel it contact the bullet, which is right there. Set your locking nut. Take a fresh cartridge that is charged. We'll grab a bullet, set it in there. It's okay if it's a little crooked, just run it up a little slower. Throw it in. So this should be a 2251, 2252, 2259. So I'm off just a hair. I'm still below the maximum cartridge length. So I'm just gonna give this a small turn. 2251. All right guys, that'll do it. Now you have some subsonic 300 blackout rounds. Guys, just so you're aware, I am not a professional at reloading. Consult your instruction manuals on all of your press equipment. There's a wealth of knowledge on the internet. Make sure you pull from that before you start venturing down this road. I left a ton of information out in this video for just the purpose of trying to make it quick and to the point. Your calipers, they're gonna be your biggest tool. You're gonna to measure everything 17 million times, but in the end, it is really rewarding to be able to load your own ammunitions. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below. Tell me what kind of equipment you have, what kind of bullets you like to use, what powders you like to use, etc. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so already. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.